This is Mark Ehrman from Bloomberg Technology, and on this week's episode of Power On, I'll be taking a look at how COVID is impacting Apple's return to office plans, Apple's work on new tools to replace your bank, as well as the company's plans for new iPhones, iPads, Apple Watches, and more for this fall. First, returning to the office. Apple is delaying its plan to bring back all employees to its global offices by one month at minimum, pushing back the return from September to October at the earliest. The company is making the change in response to rising COVID case numbers, both in the U.S. and globally, as well as the Delta variant of COVID. It pledged in an email to staff that would give them one month heads up on when they'll be required to return to their offices. Apple's return to office setup, however, has not changed. It's still asking staff to come back to the office for three days per week, but it is offering up to two days per week of remote work. Next, Apple wants to continue to replace your bank and other financial services with new tools developed alongside Goldman Sachs. The companies are working on a new service called Apple Pay Later. This will let you pay off any Apple Pay transaction made on any credit card in the US with installments. The company is working on two variations of this upcoming program. The first one is called Apple Pay in 4. This is a four installment program with installments made every two weeks with 0% interest over eight weeks. The other program is called Apple Pay Monthly Installments. That's for pricier items, allowing a user to pay off transactions over several months. However, it will include interest via loans with Goldman Sachs. These programs, of course, will directly rival Affirm, PayPal, and other competing financial software companies. Of course, a lot of the attention is on this fall. Look out for four new iPhones with smaller notches, new screen technologies, faster A15 processors, and much enhanced video recording features. The new phones are in addition to a significant upgrade to the Apple Watch, the biggest revamp to the iPad mini in its nine year history, revamped MacBook Pros with custom M1X processors, as well as new entry level AirPods. I'm Mark Ehrman. This is Power On.